Hey guys, and welcome to Provax. Don't forget to check out the Facebook page and subscribe for more weekly videos. Welcome to part five of the mini series where we will be going over the different classes of vaccines. If you missed parts one, two, three, or four, why don't you go ahead and click on this link right up here. Okay, cool, so the rest of you guys can keep watching for part five. So in this video, we will be talking about what is perhaps the most complicated and difficult type of vaccine to make. This video will be on conjugated vaccines. So a little bit of background. When your immune system encounters a foreign pathogen, your immune system kicks into high gear and works quickly to try and expel the pathogen. But what happens when your immune system is unable to recognize the pathogen and the pathogen is able to run amok? This is exactly what happened with Haemophilus influenza type B, or Hib for short. This bacteria would cause infection in both small children and adults, but the issue was that it was almost always fatal in the small children. But why? What could possibly cause this? Well, first of all, the small child's immune system is not nearly as well developed as an older person's. And this immature immune system was unable to recognize the polysaccharide coating surrounding the bacteria. So you might be wondering, what exactly is a polysaccharide chain and why is it able to prevent the immune system from recognizing the bacteria? A polysaccharide chain is essentially a bunch of sugars that are linked together and when this is coated over the bacteria, the immune system is essentially blind to it. This really only happens in younger children because of their inexperienced and immature immune system. So for older people, their immune system has more experience in seeing these polysaccharide chains and is able to recognize it as foreign. In people under five, however, this is really where the threat looms because the bacteria has evolved to utilize these polysaccharide coatings to evade the immune system and wreak havoc. Children under the age of five's immune systems simply could not recognize the pathogen and this meant that the pathogen could run its course and unfortunately take the life of the children it infected. So how do you create a vaccine against something that the immune system is essentially blind to? Well, this class of vaccine shows just how clever researchers can be and really demonstrates how amazing modern medicine truly is. You see, what a conjugated vaccine does is take the unrecognizable polysaccharide from Hib and basically attaches it to a common antigen that the immune system recognizes. Think of it like attaching a siren to a ninja so the immune system is alerted to the threat. This vaccine class is, in my opinion, the most clever type because it allows the immune system to recognize a pathogen it normally would never be able to. The only real downside to this class is the time, effort, and money it takes to develop and make the vaccine. But otherwise, there really aren't too many downsides to this class. I hope you guys liked this video. Like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below for ideas for future videos or anything else really. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload part six. Thank you.